know that one poem a day will not kill you? We hope you'll find out by listening in every day during April to One Poem a Day Won't Kill You, Yamville County's celebration of National Poetry Month. <music> Hello, bonjour. My name is Madeline Bishop, and I'm going to read for you today a poem by one of my favorite French writers. His name is Jacques Prévert, and he was voted the most popular poet for the 20th century uh, in a nationwide, nationwide poll. Um, he's popular because with, with all the French people because he uses words that are everyday words but he uses them in surprising ways. And his poems are often delightful and encourage your imagination. So the poem today I'm going to read in English is how to paint a portrait of a bird. That's why we're outside. <laughs> and yeah, maybe we'll see a bird when I'm reading. Um, I'm going to read it first in French, in English, and then I'll read it in French for those of you who would love to have a chance to understand some more French. To paint the portrait of a bird. First, paint first a cage with the door open. Next, paint something pretty, something simple, something lovely, something of use for the bird. Then, Lean a canvas against a tree, in the garden, or in the woods, or in a forest. Hide behind the tree. Say nothing. Do not move. Sometimes the bird comes quickly, but it can just as well take many years before deciding. Don't be discouraged. Wait. Wait years if need be. The pace of the bird's arrival has no relation to the success of the painting. When the bird comes, if he comes, keep very still. Wait for the bird to enter the cage. And once it has, gently shut the door with the brush. Then, Paint, paint out the bars one by one, taking care not to touch any of the bird's feathers. Next, paint the, the tree's portrait, choosing the loveliest of its branches for the bird. Paint likewise the green leaves and fresh breeze, the sun's scintillation, and the clamor of crickets in the heat of summer. And then wait until the bird decides to sing. If the bird does not sing, that's a bad sign. A sign that painting is no good. But if it sings, that's a good sign. A sign you can sign. So gently pull out one of the feathers of the bird and you write your name in a corner of the painting. I love that. I just love that paint, the, the poem. But I love it more in French. Uh, and I will invite you to do the same. So now I'll read it in French. Uh, for some of you who have had some French, it starts with a word you might not know. It's pandre, which means paint. That's an important word in the poem. And uh, there's a lot of good cognates in this poem, so you may understand a lot of it. Pour faire le portrait d'un oiseau. Peindre d'abord une cage avec une porte ouverte. Peindre ensuite quelque chose de joli, quelque chose de simple, quelque chose de beau, quelque chose d'utile pour l'oiseau. Um, placer ensuite la toile contre un arbre dans un jardin dans un bois ou dans une forêt, se cacher derrière l'arbre sans rien dire, 
sans bouger. Parfois, l'oiseau arrive vite, mais il peut aussi bien mettre de longues années avant de décider. Ne pas se décourager, attendre. Attendre s'il le faut pendant des années, la vitesse ou la lenteur de l'arrivée de l'oiseau n'ayant aucun rapport avec la réussite du tableau. Quand l'oiseau arrive, s'il arrive, observez le plus profond silence, attendre que l'oiseau entre dans le cage. Et quand il est entré, fermez doucement la porte avec le pinceau. Puis, effacez un à un tous les barreaux en ayant soin de ne toucher aucune des plumes de l'oiseau. Faire ensuite le portrait de l'arbre en choisissant la plus belle de ses branches pour l'oiseau. Peindre aussi le vert feuillage et la fraîcheur du vent, la poussière du soleil et le bruit des bêtes de l'herbe dans la chaleur de l'été. Et puis attendre que le oiseau se décide à chanter. Si l'oiseau ne chante pas, c'est mauvais signe. Signe que le tableau est mauvais. Mais s'il chante, c'est bon signe. Signe que vous pouvez signer. Alors vous arrachez tout doucement une des plumes de l'oiseau et vous écrivez votre nom dans un coin du tableau. Merci. Thank you.